we about to turn him up. Hold on real quick. I just got to do it for him real quick. Just real quick. Please, won't you? Oh. Now I'm just playing, y'all. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. My name is Bobby Everything. I got my boy Cash at hand with me. I got my boy Slang MVP. Two of these uh, two members of the Wavy Seals elite group. Mixing and mastering, engineers. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kick it off, y'all. I was going to have my boy Robbie Mack come on here and do some, some judging as well, but I think a family issue came up with him. So you guys are stuck with me as the third judge. What's up, Cash at Hand? What's good? What's up, Slang MVP? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> Sorry for go. the uh, sorry for the wait, y'all. But we got to kick it off, man. And um, let's go. Up, up first we gonna rock with. Up first we gonna rock with LV. I'm hoping that he sent another song. I'm hoping all of you guys got your song sent in because we ain't waiting around tonight. We breezing through these submissions. Let's go. All right, we got Trevor Scott and Billy and both sent their track in. We have Tyler Runyon sent in his tracks. So let's start off. Let's start off with them. Let's start off with Trevor Scott and Billiam. This song's called Solutions. Let me know what y'all think. It is that easy to make good beats with this kid. Everybody, that right there was Trevor Scott. Yo, Trevor, I like the jam. I think it sounds dope. Like as far as like creativity and and you know uh, lyrics and songwriting, songwriting skills. Like it's it's decent. Like I know that you uh, create the music on your own, so like I definitely got to give you a point for that. And and it's got a cool concept to it. The melody wasn't really too memorable, so I'm gonna minus minus a, a point for that, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a two on this one. 
and also slang MVP. I don't know if you got the memo, but but we're I want to mix that. <laughs> but we're doing point fives as well. Gotcha. Go ahead, cash your hand. Yeah, so uh, I'm doing a performance and delivery tonight. I enjoyed it as far as the performance. Um, I'm going to give it a 2.5 for only reason I'm not giving it a 3 as far as the, just the delivery and the performance is because I'm looking for something like that, how it has this build, you know, this, this build up. I kind of want you to carry me away at the end. You know, I kind of want you to kind of take me off my feet or something, right? Like that's the only like half point that I'll deduct is that you kind of stay solid throughout the whole performance. There was no rise. There was no crescendo. There was no moment that was memorable. And that's why I give it a 2.5. And since he's talking about memorable, it would have made it stick out. I say on the mixing part, could have been a little saturation and a little ad libs to it, you know, not too much, just a little bit in a reverb, probably like a little bit of that too. And it'd been nice. I can't wait to hear it to be mastered. But other than that, I give it a three. Good work, man. Great work, Trevor. Thank you for submitting tonight. And up next, we have Billium. Da, da, da. It's called That's What You Get. That's what you get when you let your heart win. Whoa.
that's strange, sometimes are cool Get in my way, I'ma need you to move If you're in my lane, now I'ma go straight through I got so much to prove, I got a wife and kids that depend on me Hey, for you, when you got people that depend on you You can't believe the things you'll do My God, don't believe that God is the only right thing left in me oh. And I'll do things even he won't like for my family Don't get me wrong, yeah, I am a strong man Walking in security And I don't need to know what it is you see Whenever you look at me Oh, but that's what you'll get Oh, that's what you'll get That's what you'll get that's why Alright y'all, I'm putting up the poll so you guys can vote. The first song that you heard was from Trevor Scott. The second one was from Billiam. Whoever wins the poll gets one point. Let's go. Yo, Billiam, I think the song is dope. Like, I think the lyrics are dope. Um, I think the hook is dope. For sure. Um, and... I'll give you a point for both of them. I, I'm not going to give you the extra point because it just like blew me out of the water or anything. But I am going to give you an extra point five because I feel like you recorded this song just for this tournament. And and that's dope. So shout out to uh, shout out to Billiam. Shout out to Trevor Scott. All right. What you think, Cash at Hand? Yeah, I don't really have any issues with uh, the performance and delivery. On this one, uh, I'll save the mix for, for slang because there were some things there that I prefer, you know, like the vocal to be more in my face or whatever. More in my face. Yes, that's my note. Bam. <laughs> but, but the performance and delivery, I give a three. But yeah, like he was saying, more in the face, bring the vocals here. Also on the hook, bringing more in your face. And uh, that sound, that I'll bring that down like three dBs and, and from there, it'd be good. I'll give it a two. And throw Robbie Heck on that, boys. Give you some screen mm. vocals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's neck and neck right now. So whoever wins the crowd is gonna is is gonna advance to the next round on this. So right now, we got eleven votes. And there's 17 people in here. So, one of the people in here is me. So, really, there's 16 people in here. <laughs> one of the people in here is probably also cash at hand. <laughs> so, really, there's only 15 people in here. So, Answer is line. there anyone else who wants to vote? Is there anyone else who wants to vote on this? All right, it's going to be in five. Four. Oh, it's neck and neck again. All right. Oh, in five, four, three, two. Come on, y'all. We need one more vote. We need one more vote. Whoever gets the next vote is going to take this one. This is a buzzer beater right here. And I would love to hear that song in um, Dolby Atmos. <laughs> oh, the Dolby oh, Atmos. Yeah. Okay. And, do a, and do a couple of pinning. I forgot to tell you. Do a couple of pinning to the song, too. Everything seemed like it was in the middle also, though. Okay. Can we get one more vote, y'all? Trevor Scott or Billiam? Who? Congratulations, Billiam. You made it to the next round. Da -da 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 Congratulations, man. Da -da 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 that was a close one. That was a close one. That was a really good round. That was a really good round. Like overtime, wasn't it? Yeah, that was dang near overtime. overtime game over winner. Here. Send your song in. The tournament is live now. All right, guys. Up next, we're going to do LV in 302 grids. This right here is LV. Yeah. It's not really a lot of time for
never talk Father God, I surrender to you Look, uh Father God, I surrender to you You took the lies when I was lost And then you rendered the truth Saw my sitting on my thoughts But you delivered my soul So now I'm doing all I can So I can get to the goal uh, They told me pull off It's getting too deep They called me names Told they jokes I just gave them my cheek They thought it was sweet My brothers made my heart bleed But I was on the search for Christ And I was reaching the peak When they tried to beat me down I was protected by him He had me working out my mind Like I was out in the gym All glory to him I knew that I was loved in his eyes when all the others walked away, he stood there right by my side I never understood the why, but I don't question the method Cause blessings pouring out of love, he's there to teach me a lesson The rest is really up to me, now I'm forever in debt Lost my friends along the way, but got my brothers instead And while I'm never looking back, I won't forget how I came Cause I respect the road I took, I was a product of pain Survived in the rain, no feeling, I had only my name But then he set me on my path, and now I'm never the same So Father God, this is praise, cause you gave me a life The right way wasn't my plan then you focus my sight And I'm forever running hard Trying to get to the light And I'ma always be in front When it comes time for the fight uh, God I love you Place no one above you Dug through the trenches Waiting for you to come through Like some do They circle back But I don't want to They say his name And sing his praise I would love to And what you won't do Is make me regress He proves he the best Even when I'm put to the test The rest of the rest they Ain't best of the best Even with less I'm in love with all my heart And every beat in my chest Understand this real talk and my love he did spark And then he put me back together, filled the hole in my heart I ain't never been a fraud, I always been about a dollar You could pull up my resume, boy, I always been a rider Look, need a change though, I raised a hand, yo He looked me dead in my eyes, said I was saved, bro As days go, I continue to grow And with my scars from all the hurt, I still continue to go Continue to sow in hopes that I'ma be there to reap And if you lost, look to him and he gon' be there to speak The enemy's weak, he hates that I surrender to Christ. I was forgiven of my sin and I was blessed with new life. Uh, in short terms, we can call it a win. I never follow with the crowd. I'm only following him, no following sin. I'll never be a perfect result, but he still loves me anyway, and him I'll always exalt. Yo, 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 what's up? Uncle Big Rod. We got Uncle Big Rod in the building. What up, brody, bruh? What up, Brody Brosker? <laughs> you, hey, Brody Brosker, you trying to hop on Warzone after this? Nah, I'm just playing. I can't. It's too late. <laughs> Yo, what's up, LV? LV, man, I rock with you. I'm a fan of your music because of your subject matter and, and your message. Like, you got bars, bro. You're a spitter. I got to give you that. You know, I definitely give you a point for that. And, and I enjoy the messages of your song. I do. I like what you talk about, but what you lack is is an actual song structure. And last week, too, I don't think you had a hook on your track. Or maybe you had a hook, but it was just hard to distinguish. But this one right here, I know I didn't hear a hook on here. This right here was just really like two minutes of straight bars. So, like, I got to knock a point off for that, man, because I'm judging on, on, on songwriting uh, lyrics and creativity and I felt that lack of song structure and um, songwriting that I want to see in this competition so I'm I'm going to give him a two got you uh, as far as performance and delivery bro uh, it was it was pretty flawless what I would tend to say I, and, and agree with Mr. Everything in regards to just showing structure, it's showing your versatility, especially if it's been two submissions in a row, and that was a critique in the first. Uh, try to dig in your bag, find something that's a little bit less of a just freestyle, but especially for a competition sake, where you got $500 on the line. Uh, but I'm gonna give you a three. I would just personally say, uh, being someone who got songs like that sound just like that, legitimately to keep them involved like to keep them engaged find a space to switch up the flow even if it's just to go back to how you was flowing find a space to give them something different why hit them with something a little different for these eight bars just to keep the excitement going because if you keep the same exact head nod throughout the song the whole song it get to where like i start thinking about other shit like I started thinking about changing my diaper and like, you know, like my baby and 
shit I got to do when I get off the call. Like, I zone out because my brain has gotten used to the same pattern. I'm done. Facts. Water. And I'll bring your um, vocals down, like, just one or two dB and put some um, de esser up in it because it was a lot of tss, tss. Get that out there and get that clear and balance it a little more. So on my end, I'll give it a two. But good work. I love the song, man. Shout out to LV. Up next, we got 302 Grizz. So, like, 302 Grizz, I'm... I'm trying to, I, I try to do the most, man, with y'all as far as reaching out and making sure y'all got y'all songs in and stuff. And uh, I sent my boy 302 Grizz a text, and he said he just sent the email. He just sent the email. But I'm looking, man, and really, like, I don't see the email, dog. I don't see the email. So, uh, all right, we're going to give him a, we waiting on Grizz, man. Robbie Max say, does that mean I'm back in? Oh, yeah. Rob, Rob, Robbie Mac, you got the link. Just join. Just. Uh, I, I think he was talking about the tournament. Oh, <laughs> because <laughs> the dude that you are trying to find, like, oh, is he forfeited? Shit, I'm back in the game. <laughs> Robbie Mac, join the call. You got the link. Pull down, pull down. All right, y'all, this is 302 Grizzly. This song is called Blah, Blah. Let me know what y'all think. Let's get it. Hey, attention, everyone. Not that one. Just different. Yeah. Aye. Don't be hitting my line, wasting your time if the shit ain't a line. If it ain't helping my ends, family or friends, conversation can end. I don't listen to that blah blah. Fuck what you talk about, boy. Your mouth said it, but you thought that noise. I don't listen to that blah blah. I'll be gone in the wind. They stop moving and start talking again. I don't listen to that blah blah. Drop a jewel on my out of time. In the duel with the father time And life the bitch that thinks she wife and shit I wish him well, but give him hell Soon as I step in, cause they think a nigga Fucked off all his blessings Catch this dressing, of course I'm stepping That's blah blah, and I don't want nada Kill a verse and back to being a father Bring a plan I can understand But the band's got the upper hand My other hand got another plan I understand if you don't understand But go on do what you do respectfully I ain't cool boo Cause hang around with y'all And I can screw loose Already cool cool You might be cool too You watch me taking the doo doo Then change the wave And hop up on the sea doo It's peace boo Next time I see you I might be fucking the me too Movement to improve And leave them stuck on being stupid Cause they wish the nigga fell I ain't do it Don't be hitting my line Wasting your time If this shit ain't a line I don't listen to that blah blah if it ain't helping my ends, family or friends, conversation can end. I don't listen to that blah blah. Fuck what you talk about, boy. Your mouth said it, but you thought that I noise. That I don't shit. listen to that blah blah. I'll be gone in the wind. They stop moving and start talking again. I don't listen to that blah blah. I'm feeling jaded, still I'm calm and patient. Palms scraping on this glizzy, cause my arm is blanking. Niggas pissed because his missus and my optics shaking. Fuck up vibes out of anguish And he got their nerve to say Staying dangerous, getting wisdom tainted Senseless ain't, ain't no need for me And his combos and see and I see it Tomorrow just me, my piece in his Bronco Sipping OJ, fuck you gon' say You did it your way Now time was gave the eyes, so get some OJ Fuck, fuck up your vision Seeing me glisten, bro, he hate on No bitch 
in my kitchen with all the cake showing Hoping to get eight on I don't give fucks, bitch, what's your face doing? I don't got no host for you to stay long Good on love, that bitch a dub, but I don't hate y'all So get the fuck out my face with all that hate doing Motherfuckers stay strong and watch me work You did your shit first and I don't get no fucks about how you did it Don't be hitting my line, wasting your time if this shit ain't a line I don't listen to that blah blah if it ain't help don't listen to that blah blah let's go shout out to 302 grizz man doing this thing on this one i think the song is cool you know like there wasn't really any like bars in there that really stood out to me uh like a whole lot like you you was doing your thing though like you was talking it had like a nice little hook on there too but the hook and the verses they just both just kind of like ran into each other there wasn't really too much like um, noticeable difference except the one little blah blah part which which was cool you know which was cool and watching them take a doo-doo yeah like 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 the watching them take a doo-doo like i almost want to give you the extra 0.5 just for that line because like as you guys it's memorable. see like, it's memorable like as you guys seen when that line came out i was like oh <laughs> so i give him a 2.5 Thanks for uh, thanks for uh, pointing that out, Cash. Cause it's like that bar was in the first verse, so by the time the song was over, I had done forgot about it, you know. So it's like you gotta try to hit us with a few more, man. Like it's gotta be a few moments like that throughout the song, not just one in the very beginning. Uh, all right. Yeah, I tried to forget about it once I heard it, just cause I'm a visual lizer. Right, right. So when I hear stuff, like I, I picture it and like I, I want to forget immediately. But it was memorable. On the like, I'm, it's like I'm getting caught up in this like thing because like the the performance and delivery, bro, was. I can't I can't judge and say like it like when I listen to it, I'm just listening for like the confidence. I I can't say whether or not your delivery was just because I may not prefer to like that style. A song or whatever so i'm gonna i'm gonna judge consistently you you performed it well that's your style i didn't hear any like issues with your confidence and you you delivered it so i'm gonna give it a three and me um i say it need a little bit of eq treatment i'll take the high end back a little some on that and that and the vocals would be if that's the look you're looking for you know the vocals sound clear after that uh the bass, I was wanted to hear a little more for me. That's my preference. Just a little more in the bass. You know, do a little instrument treatment and um, vocal treatment. It'd be good. So I gave it a 2.5. Okay, so that's going to take it to a 8. All right, 302 Grizzly is, is in the lead right now. So if... I should have put the poll up before we started voting or before we started talking. All right, y'all. The first song that you guys heard was LV. The second song that you guys heard was 302 Grizz. Go ahead and let us get some votes in here. And why they voting uh, Grizzly? What I was say similar advice to the uh, to LV man. Like you know, what I'm saying we in a time and space with attention span is really really short and that may be like the flow that you love but push yourself to be more creative find ways to get the listeners attention because we all have a shorter span of attention like right now like you you have to be realistic with knowing that if you want other people to engage and continuously listen and come back to it you got to give them something that they want to come back to other than just a smooth beat and a smooth flow. So we like, you know, in 2024, we got to step the fuck up. Shout out yeah, to I LV. LV I wins went back to the, the pen uh, and the pad. <laughs> LV won the crowd. So that's going to put it at an eight. Eight. And an eight. 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 It's a tie right now. So we're going to go ahead and flip a coin for the tiebreaker. Do we have LV or 302 Grizz in the building right now? If if uh, one of y'all is in the building, I'll give one of y'all the chance to call heads or tails. Heads or tails? 
heads or tails. Hey man, we've been having some close rounds. Mm -hmm. All right, so I don't, I don't know if either one of them here right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, spin the wheel. Spin the wheel on their ass real quick. And we're gonna go ahead and get some feedback from y'all. Like for sure. Let's stay for they song. <laughs> like see see how y'all like the uh see how y'all like the competition and see see what we can do to uh all right, so L V said Tails. See what we could do to make it better. You feel me? All right, here it is, y'all. Let me go ahead and pop it up for y'all real quick. All right, y'all. This right here is going to be it. Y'all ready? This is the official Microsoft Bing uh, heads or tails flip. Tails, congratulations to LV. You make it to the next round, bro. I got tails on my end, too. You got tails on your end, too? Oh, you actually flipped the coin? <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, so up next, we got Dooley. And uh, up next, we got Dooley and... Why is it still on there? Oh, okay. All right. Y'all can still see that on there? What's going on? Oh, there we go. All right, y'all. Up next, we got Dooley and Justora. What up, Uncle Big Rod in the building? I ain't seen you in a little minute, dog. I hope you all right. Up, up first, we got Dooley. Let me know what y'all think about Dooley. Yo, Dooley, what's up, dog? I don't even see uh, I don't even see your your submission this week. Maybe you sent it last week. All right, here we go. I think I found found it. Running on empty, one step behind, and nothing to give up. Which one did you want uh, play, Dooley? You you didn't specify. Which one do you want on this round, Dooley? One step behind. Let me know what y'all think. This is one step behind by Dooley.
Shout out to Dooley. Like it's a it's a dope song for sure, and you know it's got good lyrics. So like I definitely give you a point for that as well. And uh, I was gonna give it a two, but man, that guitar solo came in. And I definitely got to give you the extra point for the guitar solo, man. Like, we get in, we in round two now. I got to be a little bit more tough on the judging. But, man, you killed it with that guitar solo. So that right there is going to take you to the three points for me, man, for sure. Shout out to Dooley. Yeah, and I'm in the opposite position, man, because I want to be tougher on the performances and deliveries. But I guess because we are in round two, they, you know, these, you know, we ain't getting ones that they ain't bring it. So, uh, I personally had a ton of notes in general about this mix, but I ain't judging mixing. So, I'm going to give you your three for your performance and delivery. I got you on that one, brother. <laughs> what I wanted was, the, um, in the beginning, I wanted the electric guitar to be present a little more. And then, um... A lot of panning, you know, because everything seemed like it was just directly in the middle. Like, they were just playing right here. You know, it's a band, so it should be like panning. And a lot of panning, that's what i say on that. And a, vocal, and a couple of vocal treatments that I do, I can't really dig in deep into it, but I have that sounding right, though. So I gave it a two, though, bro. Dooley, I like it, man. Rock on, man. I just Rock really want to hear that. I just really want to hear that finished and complete and yeah like someone put time into really making that mix come out to life because that's that could be just truly one of them classic for this genre mm -hmm. if it make you feel that way when you listen to it because when i when i heard it it just felt flat after a while but i know it's a good song mm -hmm. we know it's cash a mix that let cash mix that <laughs> Definitely let him mix that. <laughs> Definitely let Cash a hand get his hands on that. You feel me? All right, y'all. Up next, we have Justora. Did you send the song? All right. What's the name of the song? Can I just look it up? Oh, here it is. Never too late. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. This is a song by an artist named Justora, and it's called Never Too Late. Justora.
Hey y'all, I might have to give it the extra 0.5 for that little thing at the <laughs> end because that was creative. I wanted to give this a two just because like I felt like the hook could have did a little bit more instead of just repeating the never too late over and over. Like it was cool for the first half of the hook, but I feel like maybe something like for that second half of the hook could have like made it hit a little bit harder, but I'll give it the 2.5. I'll give it a 2.5 because like you uh you definitely did get creative there at the end with the little sample and you know yeah 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 all right 2.5 yeah I'm gonna make it quick on this one I gave it a three all right uh, again I'm doing the performance and delivery I feel it and me I need a little bit of um, auto pitch tuning, you know, so it can uh, match up with the vocals a little better. Uh, not knocking your engineer, but you need to let me put my hands on that thing. And man, yeah, I'll take it somewhere else, I'm telling you. But um, I gave it a three. Good work. Okay, so. Never too late. All right, so we got the poll up right now. If Dooley wins the poll, he will take the match. If Just Stewart wins the poll, she will take the match. Never too late. Never too late. All right, let's go. Let's go, poll. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Come on, chat. What's up, chat? We need one more vote, chat. In the next. Vote. Never too late. 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 Are we still at? Uh, ah. Dot 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 girl. Dot 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 girl. Never too late. Never too late. What's the poll looking like, y'all? Too late. Come on, come on. How are we going from eight to ten to ten to eight? How do you take your vote away? Who took their vote away? People switching up. They're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> come on, y'all. Come on. Vote. We need one vote. We need a vote. We need a vote. Never too late. Y'all better get on up. Come on, y'all. We need a we need a vote. We need a vote. 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 Congratulations, Julie. You make it to the next round. Never too late, never too late, never too late, never too late. Yo, super close round on that one. Uh, both of y'all songs was fire. I appreciate both of y'all pulling down and submitting. And I thought, I literally thought we was about to be here all night. Waiting for that next vote. Congratulations, Julie. You made it to the next round. Thank you so much, Just Store, for for being a part of the competition and sending in some beautiful songs for us to listen to. And uh, even though you may not have made it to the next round, I know that you made some new fans by 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 coming onto the competition. Yes, indeed. Here goes her link, guys. Go tap in. And also, Just Stora, make sure you follow my boy Slang MVP on Instagram. Make sure you follow my boy uh, Cash at Hand on Instagram. And, uh, yo, build your network up. Like, these, 
both of these homies said that they could probably help you take the mixes to the next level. Like that's what it's all about. Meeting network growing and no 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 probably. <laughs> no yeah, no probably. Like they can for sure get you down through there. Who there? Boo bear, get you down through there. All right. Oh, that was a close round, y'all. It truly was. All right, so up next we got Mega Mind Boy and Tyler Runyon. Hey, hey, real quick. <clears throat> Nine tail sakes. Uh, excuse me. Did I put five hundred dollars and battle the champ double or nothing? Kind of like skip the line. This boy want a uh, 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 what a super hyper double skip. <laughs> no, that is not allowed. But if you want, you can put up uh five hundred and sponsor the uh sponsor the next event. <laughs> But, um, or you can get down on the next event with 50. He said 500, battle the champ, double or nothing. <laughs> Shout out to Nine Tails. Shout out to Nine Tails. My dog, RMC. Hey, look, who want to put up 500 and 500 versus, uh, versus Nine Tails? Both of y'all put up 500. You feel me? It'll be like a dice game in this month. <laughs> Bro, you gotta make you know what I'm saying you gotta make sure people don't be knowing each other, man. Right. Because like, <laughs> if, if I'm a judge and I just so happen to know nine tails, I mean it's hey, gonna bro. be hard for me not to take some of this five hundred that we win. Ain't no nine tail what you might do, huh? <laughs> Ain't no nine telling what you might do. <laughs> clever, clever, clever. <laughs> All right, y'all. I don't next... know nine tails, by the way. Just, just, just a joke. I don't know who that is. Up next, we have Mega Mind Boy versus Tyler Runyon. Up first, Mega Mind Boy.
for sure. Like overall, it's great. It really is. Um, it's got a nice sound to it. But just as far as like songwriting and lyrics and creativity, there really isn't much there. You know, so 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 I gotta knock a point off for that and uh um I'm gonna have to go with a two. A two on this one, y'all. A two. A two for yeah, I wasn't I wasn't left with much to judge the performance off of, right? It was more so mostly a beat. Like I started thinking of, of lyrics and shit myself, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna give it a two as well. Yeah, for me on her vocals, it was like a little bit too too clear for me. So I would have pushed back the high end and the low end. I push it back like a um, like three kilohertz, just to give it um, a little more raw sound. And the reverb in her vocals, I take it down a little bit, you know, have it raw. Uh, for me, I also will give it a two. And I want to hear it in Dolby Atmos, definitely. And panning, man, panning is important, especially at the end of her vocal. She could have had her in the right ear, left ear, and you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna have to let y'all take one of my tracks to Dolby. You feel me? All right, y'all. Up next, we got Tyler Runyon. This call, uh, this song is called Zan I Do.
with this as the other track, like there really isn't any like lyrics for me to judge. So I just kind of got to go off creativity. And uh, like this one right here, it's kind of falling in the same man, a two, but like um, I, I'm gonna have to give this one the extra 0.5 for 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 that saxophone solo at the end because that was next level sound design, like uh, impressive. And I know that you guys are doing all your all of your um, sound design original. So I don't know what you guys use for that saxophone. Um, but if you did use a plugin, if that is a plugin, let me know which bank because like that was next level sound design. Yeah, and it kind of left me a little worse off than the last mix because at least there was like some real singing in it somewhere, and this was fully a beat, which I like personally. Like I started coming up with stuff in my head and stuff like I do when I hear a beat I like. But there was nothing to judge, so I couldn't give it a score. So I gave it a zero for performance and delivery. Mm. Well, me, I said you could have brought the wind pipes up a little more, make it presence in the bongos, bring it up a little more. And the violin, I will compress it with the uh, saxophone so they could be at the same tone and level it out a little better. And it made it smoother. So I gave it a 1.5. Shout out to my boy Tyler Runyon, man. Um, you're a great producer, a great composer, and uh, I love what you do, brother. Shout out to my boy Megamind. Megamind advances to the next round. Real Let's quick, go. I would just want to say to to Tyler Runyon that uh, the four is not an like an indictment on your like on the track. Like the track is dope, right? It's just this is a tournament that has performances on it, and like it's best to get somebody <clears throat> like myself who can make music to a beat that sounds like that, and then encompass those vocals in and make a full song and then submit that to a tournament um because you're going up against elements that you don't have on your track which is vocal performances yeah all right y'all that's it point is uh getting uh, you know like they you know what was it the cast was getting to the thousands talking about royal rumble like, Cass was over here trying to get some bets in with Nine Tails, man. We, we started a frenzy in the chat. <laughs> Shout out to Nine Tails for starting a frenzy in the chat. All right, y'all, that's it for tonight. That's it for round two. And we'll see you guys next Monday for round three. Make sure you guys go follow our judges on Instagram. We got Slang MVP at slangmvp.wavy. And we got at Cash at hand. Uh, at Cash at Hand, the number four real. For real. I'm going to put their Instagrams in the chat. Make sure you guys go over and follow them and tap in with them on the mixes, y'all. Good music, y'all. S L A N G M V P dot wavy. Yep. All right. I'll see you guys next week.